All right, everybody. Today on Angu Modeler, we're gonna play with some electricity. And try not to electrocute ourselves. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what we have here today is a Tesla coil. We're going down the YouTube rabbit hole and uh, you know, if you cruise YouTube enough, you're gonna find some videos that always pique your interest. And one popped up in my feed of a Tesla coil and it kind of you know, reignited my interest in uh, these Tesla coils. They're really cool. Some of the ones on YouTube are pretty impressive and they're just huge and they get into some dangerous lethal levels of electricity. So, you know, just kind of looking around on Amazon is the next step to go buy one. So me and Mary found a little guy and it actually looks like a Tesla coil. So it's got the classic look of a Tesla coil and it was invented by this guy. You can see he even has a little Tesla coil. So Nikola Tesla. So yeah, back in the late 1800s, Nikola Tesla, if you're not familiar, he's an inventor, electrical engineer. This was, was one of his more famous inventions. He also came up with the AC induction motor, which you can see he has a little model of it here. Okay. Um, but he notoriously did demonstrations for the, te the Tesla coil. It was basically his, his solution to wireless energy. And it does work. So wireless energy does exist, except it's not very efficient. It doesn't go very far. But he wanted to basically power the world with, you know, Tesla coils kind of stationed throughout the world, essentially. And he thought he could transmit electricity through through the earth, actually. And they would come to these stations and you would just plug a rod into the ground. And that's how you would get your electricity from these kind of stations throughout the, the world, basically. But anyway, um, Tesla coils today are mainly just used for novelty and demonstrations and just for fun. Um, one of the cooler things that they can do is they can play music. Not any type of music though, only square wave. So if you're familiar with like sine waves, square waves, triangle waves, stuff like that, these will react to square wave pulses. So basically it's just converting uh, a square wave sound into an electrical frequency and you'll get it to play a song. So we're gonna demonstrate that for you here. It's actually really cool. So we've been messing with this thing and there's a lot of cool, I call them parlor tricks that you can do with this thing. But yeah, we're gonna show you some of these, uh, but let's go over the real quick, just what you get in the box when you order this thing. Mm -hmm. It's a really cool kit and this is a awesome, just very affordable way to uh, get into a Tesla coil if you're interested in you know playing with electricity and kind of just kind of throw back to some old inventions and stuff. Uh, we'll put the links in the description so you guys can check it out, of course. Real quick, let's go over what you get. So of course you get the Tesla coil itself. Very uh, well built, it weighs, it's got some good weight to it. Nice spun aluminum top, copper uh, windings obviously on the secondary coil and then the primary coil, you can see the windings down there. I don't, I don't know too much about you know circuit boards and stuff, but you can see some capacitors and a massive heat sink on the bottom. Nice aviation style cannon plug. So it's very well built. It's like I said, it's got some weight to it. And you get a little sewing needle. Oops, sorry, Mary. Yeah. So what the sewing needle is for? This is called a breakout point. So you actually set it up here and it gives the electricity or the lightning bolts, I guess you could call it, or the corona discharge, a place to break out. So you're gonna see the, the actual electrical discharge coming off the tip here. It basically reduces the, uh, the load on the capacitors and the drivers and whatnot. Because if you were to run it like that, it pushes everything really hard and you might not even get any discharge at all. And you might blow up, you know, something on the board. So anyway, they recommend using this, and it's just cooler because you're concentrating all the electricity to the tip. You get this main control box. They call this the um, what do they call this thing? I don't remember the um, interrupter. I think they call it the interrupter. So you got a switch and a knob, and a couple plugs here. So when the switch is in the right hand position, it's it's in what's called music mode. So the square wave pulses. And you go to the left, it's normal mode. And this, think of this like a volume, but it actually controls how much electricity you're putting in. So it kind of works like a volume, but when you're in music mode, remember the electricity is the speaker. So you're gonna see when you hear the music that you're listening to the, electric, the electricity, there is no speaker. So think of this like a volume. 
but it's you're controlling the electricity. And then that's an MP3 headphone jack port. That's for one of the plugs, the DC that controls the board, and then the AC input, which runs the power to the coil right here. So there's a lot of kind of plugs that you gotta do. But you got the interrupter box. I'll show you how to hook this up, because there are no directions. So it's kind of, you gotta figure it out on your own, so I'll show you. So this is the, you know, just a normal little DC wall plug, but it comes with all this. So this this kit comes with all this stuff, except the except the cool bobblehead. <laughs> we just had to have him. And we'll have the link yeah, to that one. We'll too. link that too. <laughs> Uh, anyway, DC, your MP3 jack comes with this too. It's just a standard headphone cord. And then it comes with an AC plug. It's a pretty common little computer type plugs. So you plug all these in. So you, you know, just plug this into a normal 110 wall socket. And then you've got the, make sure this is, this is probably what I showed you to do first. Do not plug these in until you've got this plugged into the, the actual Tesla coil. So this is keyed, so you can't mess this up. So just plug it in, and then tighten the collar all the way down. There you go, and that holds it in. And that's it. And this is very important too. So remember, mm -hmm. have this on there, otherwise you're possibly gonna blow a resistor or a capacitor. I'm probably using the wrong terms, but <laughs> it just reduces the load on the board, so. Make sure you got the needle on the top. Uh, but they say about a meter back is a safe place for it. So when we're filming this thing running, we're actually gonna be back from it. We'll turn the lights down so you can, we can get some cool um, discharge and stuff. But when you do run it, make sure this main blue cord is fully out and you don't have it coiled up. So you don't want it like that. Yeah. So, so like just have it kind of like thinned out. Yeah. So remember, you're dealing with some pretty high voltages here. All right, well, let's get to it. All right, guys, so we got the lights turned down, we got some cool mood lighting. Uh, so we're just gonna start off in normal mode. So we're gonna flick the switch to the left and just start turning the, what I'm gonna call the volume up. So there we go. So let's do some parlor tricks here. So I'm gonna take a regular CFL bulb and just move it near it. But you can see, Wireless electricity. Mary, is that close enough? Oh, yeah. So you can see this bulb is not even plugged in. Pretty cool, right? We got a green one. That's pretty cool. So we can take the bobblehead. I actually put a copper electrode in his mini Tesla coil. Watch this. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Mary, can you see the, uh... Oh, there we go. Yep. So the reason it's arcing off of, uh, the model, the little bobblehead is because it's metal paint. The paint has metal in it. That's pretty sweet. So check this out. Now we got a plasma globe. <laughs> so Mr. Nikola Tesla, if he only knew we were going to be doing parlor tricks with his invention. <laughs> I think he would approve. That is pretty cool, I must say. So we'll take him out of the equation. Pretty cool, huh? So we'll turn the volume down. Switch it into music mode now. So now we're gonna play a couple things in music mode with the MP3 jack. So we got some music square wave files pulled up here. So I'm on YouTube, pulled up some square wave stuff. I'm on a uh, YouTube channel. He does Tesla coil music. So I'm just, honestly, I'm just playing his video. We're gonna link his video to it. But the song we're gonna play is Rasputin. Here we go. That's pretty cool. So remember, there's no speakers. You're hearing the just the frequency of the electricity. Get Nikola Tesla rocking out. Yeah. 
<laughs> now come on, that's cool. Alright. So that's that. Let's see if you guys recognize this one. Holy cow. <laughs> so pretty cool. Another cool thing to do is a frequency sweep. So you can uh, go find an online tone generator. It's on my phone and it, it works really good, but for some, it just gets a little finicky sometimes. But here we go, Let's. Uh, we're on square wave. Remember that's the most important. I'm gonna hit play. So you can see we're at a pretty low hertz. See this thing goes, we're at 600 hertz now. Seven hundred hertz. Eight hundred hertz. I'll stop at nine hundred. All right, 900. Oh my Yeah, God. so that was... <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was 900 hertz, guys. Um, I mean, I don't even want to know what 1,000 or even up to 2,000 hertz sounds like. So I'm going to turn a light on. Uh, but as you can see, this thing is awesome. I really like it, and it's very affordable. Like I said, we're going to link it, all the links to all this stuff, the, the cool bobblehead the Tesla coil itself and uh, the plasma ball, you know, you see these everywhere, but uh, pretty affordable stuff. Um, the Tesla coil, it's an awesome model, really cool. I think it's well worth the price and- um, That one was the Peleus Tech? Yeah, this is called the Peleus, Peleus Tech or Peleus Tech. There's another one called Yamix Stark. It's exactly the same. It's just the, the, um, the distributor names it something different, but we'll put the links in there. I like this one because it actually looks like a Tesla coil, like it looks like a true Tesla coil. Very cool technology, it's one of his most famous inventions, uh, it was supposed to change the world and you know, it still exists today, people make music with it, you can actually hook up a, uh, a synthesizer and a MIDI program and you can play through it, um, but you know, it's used for you know, demonstrations now, impress your friends, they use them at schools and stuff like that, but I think it's cool to have, it's just a very cool model and it's a functional model. But like I said, we'll link it all. We'll link the bobblehead um, and we'll link that. And these are just regular CFL bulbs if you wanna try the, uh, you know, the wireless electricity transmission demonstration. That's all you need. And the big long fluorescent tubes will, will light up too. Uh, we just didn't show you that. And the way I was getting the, the uh, electricity to arc to Mr. Mr. Tesla himself was, I just took a little piece of a copper wire and just drill the little tiny hole right in the top of his Tesla coil and just put it right there. And then I had it sitting on this wooden box. A little model that I Yeah, <laughs> so something Mary was making so that it would, you know, arc. And then you were getting this bonus lightning because this is actually metal paint. The paint has metal in it, so you were getting the arcs off of it. It was actually a really cool side effect that I didn't see happening. But, um, but yeah, so we'll link all this stuff. 
I'm, I'm having a blast with this thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep playing some square wave files on it. It's just, it's so cool sounding. Mary, you like it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah so just be careful, guys. I don't recommend touching the electricity. I'm, I know there's people out there that do it. I don't recommend it. So if you do it, you do it at your own risk. I do not endorse it. <laughs> I don't know enough about electricity to be playing with it, like, you know, touching it. It's working great. This thing's awesome. Highly recommend it if you're into this type of stuff. So like I said, we're going to link it all. Go check it out. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you like this type of stuff in the comments and like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time.